Each summer, the town of Round Top, Texas doubles in population from 77 to 160, with young musicians attending the International Festival Institute at Round Top for orchestral, chamber music, and solo study. In its 39th year, the Round Top Festival was started by concert pianist James Dick. It continues year-round education and performance programs and is set on a 210-acre campus known as Festival Hill, containing major performance facilities, historic houses, extensive gardens, parks, and nature preserves. There are rare books, manuscripts, archival material, music and historic recordings, photographs, and objects. The Festival Institute is also known as an important center for composition, research, and scholarly study. This year, the festival began June 6th. The most wonderful thing is to hear the very first rehearsal on that first Monday night. Founder James Dick. When they don't know each other, and they all come together with that first downbeat of the conductor. Generally, I am right there, practically on the front row, anxiously waiting to hear that first sound from an orchestra that has never been in existence before. I try to encourage people to come for it. Of course, every Monday, it happens, because there's a new conductor, there's new repertoire. So Monday night to Saturday night, that whole thing transpires. It's, it's quite, quite a miracle, I think. That miracle has grown over the years, as the budget has allowed. Only recently have there been formal seating in the hall, using lawn chairs until funds were raised, which is how the entire campus has been built, little by little. The Round Top Festival has also expanded their events to include a percussion, guitar, choral, and poetry festival. We're a music institute, but music has never, in my estimation, hidden itself away from all the other influences of the world. So I think the rural area was correct for an academy such as this, and for an experience that's year-round as well. Faculty at Round Top come from all over, including Charles Castleman, James Vandemark, and Grammy Award-winning conductor Joanne Folletta. It's a special environment because it is two hours probably from a major city, any major city in Texas. So it's in the middle of the country. And there's like an altar, a temple to music right here in the middle of the green expanse of Texas. Amazing concert hall with exquisite detail, beautiful wood carvings, fabulous acoustics. The young people who are here are treated to gardens and ponds and wildlife, of course, and gourmet food. It's a fabulous experience for them. The experience for the orchestra that Folletta chose during her week at Round Top included showpieces by Rimsky-Korsakov, Strauss, and Stravinsky, which she says will stay with the musicians. They'll remember their first Scheherazade. She also believes that the six weeks is really invaluable. And it's all about playing in orchestra. Uh, they, they focus on orchestral playing and uh, they have just enough people to make up an orchestra so that nobody is sitting idle. They're playing all the time. And then in addition, they do some chamber music and chamber orchestra. So they're incredibly busy. It's, it's almost like a boot camp for orchestra where, but they don't seem to mind it. They seem to love it. They seem to love the challenge of playing all the time and they have lessons every week and wonderful faculty come from all over to teach them. So it's maybe a little bit of a secret here, but for a serious young musician, this is an extraordinary opportunity. This opportunity has landed students' jobs in all the major orchestras in the United States, and recently an alum has become principal clarinet of the world-renowned Concertgebouw Orchestra in Amsterdam. The work of founder James Dick was recognized this last April with the Texas Medal of the Arts. I really accept it on behalf of the foundation here, our foundation, and the Festival Hill, and the campus, and everybody who comes here, because I think that had an important part to do with it. Obviously, my life is still performing, still growing, still studying, still searching. And then my alma mater, the University of Texas, is going to be still upon me the Distinguished Alumnus Award in October. Oh, so cool. I'm thrilled about that too. Supposedly I'll be out on the 50-yard line with several others that are going to be honored. And we accept our orange and white jackets in front of this giant stadium. There'll be stadium-sized crowds this weekend as the International Festival Institute at Roundtop celebrates the 4th of July. In fact, the town grows 13 times its size when the thousand-seat lavish concert hall is sold out. Saturday afternoon, it's American Chamber Music at 3.30 p.m. in the Festival Concert Hall. Saturday night, Beethoven and Bartok are on the orchestra program with Jean-Marie Zaituni conducting. 
And Sunday, July 5th at 3 o'clock, it's the annual patriotic concert with the Texas Festival Orchestra, Garrett Keese conducting, and Andrew Heller singing a medley of American music to celebrate Independence Day. Programs continue this summer through July 11th and start back up in August. There's more online at www.festivalhill.org, and you can see more of Roundtop and the interviews online at tpr.org. For Texas Matters, I'm John Clare in San Antonio.